Hi guys. More than 28 million websites use Google Analytics, representing 84% of all websites that utilize traffic analytics solutions. Google Analytics is the most popular web analytics tool, that's for sure. But it's not the only tool out there. There are some excellent Google Analytics alternatives on the market. To help you find one, we've listed some of the best alternatives to Google Analytics in no particular order. Watch on to learn more about these providers and find out which one will best work for your needs. So let's get started. The first one on the list is Matamo. Matamo, previously known as Piwik, offers powerful analytics software while also taking privacy concerns into consideration. By the way, Matamo means honesty in Japanese. They are a trusted name in the analytics industry with their software used on 1.4 million websites in over 190 countries. The software has a wide variety of features from analytics and conversion optimization to visitor profiles. One of the more interesting Matamo selling points is that they don't use data sampling. Basically, data sampling means that you take a sample of the data, analyze it, then extrapolate your findings to the rest of the data. While using data sampling, after a certain traffic threshold saves Google a lot of money, it's not exactly ideal if you want accurate granular level data. Matamo doesn't use this statistical analysis method to cut costs. They actually analyze all the data so you can be sure that what you're seeing corresponds with reality. Matamo has feature parity with GA4 and even goes further thanks to its A-B testing and session recording features. Universal Analytics, users will feel right at home using Matamo too, making it a great choice for content and marketing teams. And for the pricing? Depending if you're hosting on-premise or cloud, the pricing varies. The price takes into account your monthly traffic. It can start as low as $20 a month. It's worth noting that Matamo was previously part of Piwik Pro. Matamo continued as an open source alternative, while Piwik Pro became proprietary, the opposite of open source and evolved into Piwik Pro Analytics Suite. However, some users dislike the following integrations and branding method. Overall, if you value privacy, Matamo Analytics is a great option. It gives you complete ownership of your data, is open source and has flexible data visualizations. Installation of the on-premise version of Matamo can be tricky, but it's well worth the effort. Okay, next let's talk about Adobe Analytics. In Adobe Analytics, businesses of all sizes can measure and understand the impact of customer interactions using a variety of tools. These include web analytics, marketing analytics, attribution, predictive analytics, and multi-channel data collection. In Adobe Analytics, users can monitor and analyze streams of data, then turn them into actionable insights in real time. Analytics that give you actionable insights, not just canned reports. Adobe Analytics lets you mix, match, and analyze data from any digital point in the customer journey. With in-depth analysis, versatile reporting, and predictive intelligence, you get the insightful foundation you need to build better customer experiences. Adobe Analytics is a great option for large organizations who are looking to understand and improve their customer and their experience of the website. It comes packed with nearly all the features available in web analytics nowadays. The downside is that the pricing is very untransparent and steep. Also, it's not easy to implement like other tools. Nevertheless, it's a tool worth checking out for large organizations. However, some users dislike the following. Pricing can be quite steep. Tech support can be improved. Can be difficult to implement. Can be challenging to get educated. Next, we have Mixpanel. Mixpanel comes with powerful user reports to answer any questions. One of the best things about Mixpanel is its ability to track and analyze user behavior on websites and mobile applications. It also offers a variety of tools for segmentation, engagement, and retention analysis, making it a powerful tool for gaining insights into user behavior. Some of its main features include funnel and retention analysis, event tracking, real-time data. And for the pricing, Mixpanel has a free plan that allows users to record up to 20 million events per month. Its paid plans include Growth Plan, starts at $20 a month, up to 100 million events per month. Enterprise Plan starts at $833 a month, 5 million, to 100 million plus events per month. However, some users dislike the following. 
event setup requires tech skills, contains hard to discover features, has a steep learning curve. As you can see, Google Analytics isn't the only app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we've listed here today. Some have features similar to Google Analytics, others have a completely different set of features and functions. The point of this video isn't to force you to use something other than Google Analytics, it's to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it, but for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So that's it for this video. Like I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video was helpful, you can check the links in the description. Again, that helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too, and goodbye.